Today I would like to talk about a programming concept that is very basic and fundamental and in some ways essential, but that, that is hardly mentioned or talked about in the context of VBA. Hi, I'm Philip from CodeCabinet.com and today I would like to talk about recursion. As I said, Recursion is a very basic and fundamental programming concept and it exists in every programming language and of course also in VBA, but um, I can hardly remember it being mentioned or being, being talked about. I guess that is because it's so fundamental that all the experienced programmers don't really think it's worth talking about, but if you are new to VBA, and you don't know and understand this concept, you are really missing out. So I want to deal about that, uh, deal with that today. Um, recursion is basically when one function or procedure calls itself. So this, um, if you think about this, this kind of goes into a sort of endless loop because if the function is calling itself and calling itself and calling itself, it's um, well, it's basically some sort of endless loop and it will result in an error out of stack space. That, that is a bit of a stack overflow and that might make your program crash. It will at least raise an error. So this concept needs to be combined with one condition that makes all this stop. And the condition depends on what you want to do with recursion. Usually, um, recursion is used to tackle problems, programming problems or programming tasks in a hierarchy-like structure. So you went in at the top level um, of the hierarchy and then look at it and, and kind of split it up into the next sub-level and then with the next level of recursion you look at each of the sublevel items and split that up again. And one time you will reach the point where the sublevels cannot be split anymore, where you're at the lowest level of the hierarchy. And then the, the stop condition is reached and you will do at that level whatever you want to do with the, the low level items and your procedure will process that item and then return and move back up one level to the stack and um, then again split, split the, the remaining items on that level. And once it's done with all items on that level, it will return back to one higher level and process the next item there until all those items in that hierarchy are processed and you have done what you, uh, whatever you want to done with them and, and march up uh, in, in your call stack back to the top level and then your procedure finishes. And that can be used to tackle all sorts of big chunks of problems that you need to split down and look at it again and split further down until you, you achieve um, the, the split that you can look at individual problems and solve them. So um, this whole video basically has been triggered by a question in a forum where someone asked about how to list the folders in the Outlook folder hierarchy um, and, and print them out. And I thought, yeah, that is, I was about to write a quick answer, but then I thought, yeah, that, that is such a fundamental thing and it's easy to do, but you know how to do it. And so I came about to make this video because that very problem with um, processing Outlook folders in the hierarchy is what Basically, my very first use of recursion was actually many, many years ago. So let's look at that in practice. Okay, I've got a, a simple procedure here prepared. Um, it's just a list Outlook folder hierarchy and I, I just create an Outlook instance here and um, fetch the, the root namespace and then I fetch a top level folder here that that would basically be an account in Outlook and I've got multiple accounts here. 
and then I print the account name because uh, the guy asking the question wanted to print out the, the stuff. But now I only have got the top level and now I need to look at the lower levels and I already prepared this print folder names um, function here that is taking a, a parent folder as an argument and now we will do something with that. And it's pretty simple. We, we need a local variable. Oh, and one thing about, well, just let me finish writing this here. So we need a local variable. And one important thing about um, recursion is even if the function calls itself, all these local variables you declare on the individual procedure level, they are always completely new insta uh, inst instantiated, initialized, and they are, they are completely new. They do not know anything about um, variables from the higher level of the call stack, even if it is the same procedure that is calling them. So, um, for each subfolder in uh, parent folder dot folders, uh, no, not folder path, the folders, the Outlook folder hierarchy, that's basically uh, what we're dealing with here. Um, and this is supposed to be for each. The Outlook folder hierarchy is basically um, folder objects and each folder object contains a collection of folders. And that is just what this folders is about. And now what we do is doing just a debug.print. And what we do here is we use the string function and that's where that um, sublevel variable comes in. That's just a little helper and you will see in a second how that works. Um, we just print out tabs here just to kind of provide an indention level in the output. So we print that and then we append the subfolder dot name and that would kind of um, print one level of folders. Let's just put that in here and we pass in the top level account folder and for the sub level, I just use a one that I put in here. And now let's just quickly run this. Um, yeah, macros are disabled, that is a shame. We fix this in a second and go back to our code here and now run it again and it takes a little minute because it needs to start Outlook in the background and connect to the folders and, and stuff and so this is basically what we see here as an output that is the top level folder the account folder that was printed out here and these are all the subfolders in there, which are printed here. And the the tab is just um, producing this tab to, to uh, show these are one hierarchy below and they are indented a bit. So far, so good. And now let's add the recursion in here. We have our print folder names um, method that actually does what we want it to do. It prints the folder names on a hierarchy level. And what we do now to do the recursion bit, we call the function again. And now we pass in our current subfolder here. And to um, show that we are one level deeper when we print that, we just say sub level plus one. We increment that when calling the procedure. And now I just clear the stuff in the immediate pane here and run this again. So, um, takes a small minute again. I probably should have uh, started Outlook in the background and you see it is doing a bit of um, 
nesting in here and now you see the recursion has processed the subfolders in each level and it's also outputting these lower level subfolders and that would go on and on and on regardless how many subfolders there are that's basically um, recursion in VBA so it's pretty simple here it's just putting in the function call inside a function to call itself that's basically it. It's, it's very, very simple, but you need to know about that. Otherwise, uh, would you get that idea? I'm not sure how I um, yeah, first came to that point. I, I think I figured it out myself, but I don't know. And it's uh, always good to, to know that. So, um, basic thing explained recursion. So are there any drawbacks to this approach? Because um, if you look at it, it's, it's very simple to implement the code. If you know what's going on, the code is very simple. It's very readable, easily understandable. That's all good. But there is a small drawback with recursion because the function calling itself in basically a loop until it reaches its final um, stop condition where it's finished it will use a lot of stack space because all the variables that are passed to the function or and the local variables they are all allocated on the stack and the, the stack doesn't have too much memory the, the stack is a memory area for kind of calling procedures primarily and it's very easily and fast accessible but it's limited so if you go deeper and deeper and deeper, it might happen that you run into that stack overflow error where there's no more stack space left. And then basically your, your program is uh, in deep trouble because any more functions and, and stuff cannot be called. But beyond that, there are very few drawbacks. Um, in, in theory, due to these uh, memory allocations and, and context switches when calling one level of the the procedure it is slower than an iterative approach you could also iterate through all the folders and put them into the right order in, in a collection and then print out the stuff and in some circumstances this iterative approach without recursion will be faster but it's a hell of a mess to write and it's hard to understand so unless you are dealing with stuff that's really performance critical and, and where you need to get every millisecond of execution time, I would rather go for the recursive approach. And to, to wrap things up, I mentioned the stack uh, error and let's look at this um, here because I prepared a function here that does not have any any kind of stop condition here and this is just um, if level uh, exceeds a, a certain number of iterations I'm going to stop here so I'm going to call that and stop at 5000 iterations that's the function calls itself 5000 times so we go in here and just call it and you see it stops in an instant so it's not really a timing issue and this still works and we stop this and let's increase that to 6000 and I go back here and call it again and 6000 still works and it was basically instantaneously because the function is not doing much let's increase that to 7000 and let's see what happens now. Oh, great, great, that, that is very good. That is how it is supposed to be. There is a VBA error out of stack space. Oh, how nice, that, <laughs> great. Yeah, well, uh, well, that was, um, that was, in one way how it is supposed to be and I wasn't expecting that because I um, tried that on a different computer earlier when, when I thought about the samples I show here and there it was crashing right away. It's like boom, 
and uh, access has stopped working and is shutting down. And this, what we've just seen, is how it is supposed to be. You should get a VBA error out of stack space. But you also noticed it was displaying the error message, but it was in so deep trouble, it, it could display the error message for like a second or two, and then it was just going down because it couldn't handle the situation. Because if the stack space is uh, exceeded and there's no more stack space left. There's basically nothing your program can do. If it wants to call any procedure, any stuff that that is supposed to work, it will just die off. And that's exactly what happened there. So very nice that we had this combination of errors here. Very, very nice. Okay, that's basically it about recursion. So thank you very much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it and maybe you learned something new. Mm, yeah, well, what can I say? Thank you for watching. Bye bye.